We do woodworking, but on a bigger aspect, we salvage materials from around Detroit, and then we make products and furniture out of the stuff that we're saving. For us, it was kind of like our little part to help clean up our neighborhoods and clean up the streets, as well as making really cool products for our homes. We, you know, bike around the city and we literally document Detroit. We see certain buildings and we find certain objects that it kind of gets our like creativity turning. Like, all right, like how can we take this material that we just found and kind of reimagine it and make it new? Cities naturally, like, they take down buildings. This church that we did was really small. And, you know, we saved so much materials out of there. I feel like when you compare reclaimed wood to newer wood that you buy in the stores, it just doesn't have that texture. It doesn't have a story. We have this one area in our shop where like we just keep stuff. We want to make something special out of it. We let the like the materials themselves dictate what we're gonna make. Instead of saying like, oh I wanna make a wine cellar, now I need to buy wood. Like, no, it was, it was the other way around for us. I feel like just learning how to use your hands is something that is dwindling. We're taking wood that no one would use and turning it into wall tiles or intricate floor patterns or new products, so we're always designing new stuff. Back in the 20s, Detroit was like the richest city in the world. Our buildings here were built to last. They were built with no expenses spared. So Woodward Throwbacks is all about preserving the legacy of it.